Building hidden traps to kill or wound targets is an idea that goes back millennia. Booby traps, mines, IEDs. The ancient principles of traps have evolved into many forms, but their aim hasn't changed in centuries. To deny the enemy territory, reduce their combat effectiveness, and hit them when they least expect it. They make everything on the battlefield a potential killer. With a small investment in time and materials, the returns in physical and psychological damage on the enemy are huge. You force people to adjust to the fact that they're not winning anymore. Booby traps take something which is comforting, which is safe, like victory, and they turn it into a place where you don't feel secure, you don't feel happy, you don't feel like you can do your job properly. Traps were first developed as a hunting technique. Simple pit traps evened up the odds for our ancient ancestors when they took on large, powerful prey. With the dawn of civilization and organized warfare, these tried and tested hunting techniques were ideal for use on the ancient and medieval battlefields. These early military traps used the simplest technologies imaginable, sharpened sticks and spikes. Deployed in shallow holes, these wolf pits were an effective defensive weapon. The Romans used these. Uh, the classic example is the Battle of Alesia, where they had the, the Gauls trapped and they put two rings of fortifications around. If the Gauls came out, they stepped into the, these pits, and you see this has got a fish hook in it. You step on this thing, it's hard to get out. You're gonna have to rip your foot apart to get this thing out. For centuries, the simple stick would be used in a variety of combat environments. In the age of modern warfare, this cheap, low-tech weapon had lost none of its bite as U.S. troops would learn in Vietnam. Lacking air power and artillery, traps were a cost-effective way for the communist Vietnamese to seriously reduce the combat effectiveness of American infantry. One individual being injured takes out two other people at one time, but everyone else in that squad is gonna to have to take their turn of carrying this individual and his equipment. So you've limited their combat effectiveness right off the bat. So if you can get one or two or even three people injured in that squad, then you've either limited or destroyed their combat effectiveness. That unit is no longer viable. In Vietnam, the sticks were made of bamboo and called punji. The different varieties or things that we use as punji sticks, probably one of the most effective is a simple piece of bamboo. As you can see, with the bamboo is cut off to a point like this and shaved properly, it's as sharp as a needle. The ability to penetrate um, bodies, clothing, um, is just phenomenal. It's nearly as good as steel. The effect is absolutely devastating. 